Hello, Libra viewers. So last reading I did, I was getting that someone does want you, but they just, they want to take things slowly. They want to make sure that this is the real deal. Um, this could be a long-term relationship. So someone's just sort of taking their time. They might be a little bit more logical than you, but the feelings are there. So let's see what's currently going on with this connection. They might have some karmic issues and stuff that they're wrapping up right now as well. Hidden truth, adventure. Yeah, I think that their feelings are deeper than they let on. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation, X, the past, new love. This could be a third party situation for some, but they might, they might be healing from an ex and they just want to take their time because this is something new for them. They might not be fully over an ex because um, we've got new love, faded encounter, and then we have mutual feelings, emotional depth. That would make sense with them wanting to take things slow and make sure this is the real deal. I feel like they might... It's like they want the adventure and the honeymoon and they vac the vacation with you. They want this new start with you. You know, the feelings are there, but they have some, they just want to move a little bit slower, I feel, because they have some damage here that they're trying to work through. Are you the potential life partner or is the ex? Is the ex? No. Are you? Oop. Yes. I feel like you are the potential life partner. And sometimes, like with twin flame relationships, sometimes you meet the false twin before you meet the real twin. So it might just be that, I mean, they thought this other person was going to be the one for them. And, and they're, they're accepting that that person isn't the one for them, but it's still something that they have to process, you know. And this could be damage. I mean, this could just be past damage. Like maybe they're over the person, but it's like they're still they're still working through some trust issues. So they still like to move more slowly because they feel like they just really put all their eggs in one basket in the past with someone. Um, so now they're just kind of wanting to be a little bit more cautious. Like they don't want to get their heart broken like that again. Um, I feel, so I feel like this person is actually passionate and romantic deep down, but they come off more logical now, but just because they, they know once they invest in someone that they just give that person their everything. So they, they really want to be more careful with you, but the feelings are there is what I'm feeling, what I'm getting here. Yeah. They're just choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. You know, they, they want you, they just don't want to rush spying. Some of them might be watching you on social media, trying to figure out what what the next move is to make some of you just a couple of you might have just gotten in an argument or there might have been some miscommunication that kind of hurt this person's feelings just like two or three of you and so they're they're spying to try to figure out if you're cold and guarded and distrusting towards them I feel like they watch you and they look at your pictures a lot even if they're not really admitting their feelings they feel like there's a lot of sexual energy between you guys as well Yeah, that's more sexual energy in this context. <laughs> it's more, yeah, that's a lot of, look at that. Look how, look how that person's, look at him being grabbed like that. Like submissive, weak wills. There's something, might have been something that happened recently or something that's going to happen in the near future. There's some kind of sexual energy here. Or maybe like a certain night between you guys that this person's thinking of. Um, they're really, I'm getting a very vulnerable energy. Like they're really giving into their passions and their emotions for you more than they were before. Um, and you're really pulling them in, you know, there's still the desire to take it slow. I feel like sometimes there's just miscommunication because you want to move faster and they want to move slower or it could be vice versa. Maybe they want to move fast and you want to move slow. Um, but, but some, there's just this, the feeling that you guys are on the same page. You both want to be together. You both have strong feelings for each other, but one person is just kind of more logical. They like to take their time. They like to make sure they know everything about someone, all the good, all the bad, like the person's flaws, weaknesses, strengths before they commit. Like they want to make that logical decision that this is the future they could have with someone, you know? And then the other person is kind of more, more passionate, more just go with the flow, wanting to move quickly. And I feel like that the, the person that's like not wanting to commit quickly, I feel like deep down, like they used to be that person that would just, 
you know, jump into relationships, like just very passionate, romantic. I just feel like they got their heart broken so much that now they don't allow themselves to be that way as much. But you're starting to bring out that you're starting to, to bring out that softer side of them. You're starting to to melt the ice, you know, there's just a fear of getting hurt here is what I'm getting. Yeah, because there's still some kind of karmic situation that they were in, like toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, something some kind of karmic situation they were in that really messed them up and they haven't fully healed from that. Yeah, there might be um, some soul contracts or some red cords that they need to cut in their own life as well. Because I think that this damage has kind of kept them stagnant, so it's something that they need to get through. Some of them might just focus on finances almost like as a defense mechanism or like career or vanity or whatever it might be like just like worldly things as as a defense because you know they know that when they love someone they just give it everything you know they just like that's like they're forever person like they're just very loyal very committed very empathetic very just a very loving person but it just again it just takes they're just very damaged too and so it takes them a while, you know what I mean? Like they just, they want to make sure that it's the right person this time because they've been wrong too many times in the past. And I think there's one specific time when it just really broke them. And if they have kids, I think it really broke their kids as well. Like it really broke their kid's heart, you know, to lose someone. So they're, they're really, someone really betrayed them. Someone really changed on them. So they're, they don't really trust people right now. And that's the same energy I was getting before a couple weeks ago but I, I mean this person just wants you to, to know again they want to reiterate they do want you but they just they're moving at a slower pace um yeah i feel like almost like when you move fast it's like that's when they kind of pause and reflect like they, they don't fully trust it but i feel like they're opening themselves up more and more to you like they feel it feels like there's something i don't know if it's something you said or did but some of them feel like they might be upset about something like kind of got their feelings hurt or they feel like you're not talking to them as much because maybe you're misunderstanding their energy there's something there where someone's kind of like trying to, someone's trying to figure out what you're feeling. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Someone's trying to figure out what you're feeling. Happiness, warmth, light, clubs, parties, social life. Someone might be ending some toxic patterns for you. Yeah, like they're trying to, This your person might be trying to, um, or this could be you. It could be you or your person. Someone's trying to be who they really are on a soul level, like 5D, like their higher self, um, trusting their dreams, their visions, you know, following their heart more, you know, tele telepathy, trusting the psych this psychic connection. Because if this is like a life partner, then they, they um, you know, if you can't ignore something like that. Truth and clarity is coming out. I feel like this person might be opening up to you more and more kind of about how because I feel like this person, I feel like this person's lonely. I do. I feel like this person's, and again, it's not you. It's not like you're doing anything wrong that's like making them feel lonely. I just feel like they're lonely because they, this person used to be an empath, I think. Like they used to be very vulnerable, very loving, very open. And I think that someone just really damaged them and changed them. Um, so it's like, but they feel lonely because it's like they miss who they used to be. They miss being that empathic person. They miss being like vulnerable and romantic and, and free spirited and, you know, just kind of having like, they used to have like this, this really innocent, beautiful faith in true love. And I feel like they, over time, you know, getting their heart broken, seeing people change right in front of them, they sort of just adapted to the, to the world. They started, um, some of them might have kids too. So they might've felt like, okay, I can't be rom too much of a romantic cause I have I have kids, I have to do what's best for my kids. But this person deep down, like on a soul level, this person's very romantic, like they like to follow their heart. But I feel like on a conscious level, that's really not what this person shows a lot of the time. And I don't think this, this, this would be a good person. Like this would not be someone who's like ghosting you or talking down to you or being, being douchey. This would not be that person. This would be someone like you guys are, are talking, hanging out, but then sometimes they get kind of scared or like they, they seem like they want to go a lot slower than you, like kind of seems like the type of person that would wait like 
quite a few months to be willing to say I love you. Um, like really needs to take their time before they make commitments. But once they do commit, it's like it's like Knight of Pentacles type energy. Like once they do commit, they're really committed. Um, so, I mean, it's a continuation of the story I got a couple of weeks ago where I was getting, you know, someone wants you. They, they do want you. They just want to take it slowly. They want to make sure it's the real deal. I do feel like someone feels a little bit more certain about you. I feel like something just challenged them, but I don't know. Did you just do something that challenged them? Like, did you say or do something that kind of kept them on their toes and challenged them a little bit? Or maybe you did something because I'm getting a strong emotional reaction towards you from them. So I'm kind of feeling like something happened. I don't know if it was like an argument or if it was like, it could have been a positive thing too. It could have been like, you guys had like a heart to heart emotional talk or like you started, um, maybe you started sharing things about yourself that you hadn't shared before. Like you started really opening up to them and kind of telling them some stuff that you're going through and now it's making them want to open up to you. I'm just getting the sense that this person is trusting this a little bit more than they did before and they're wanting to take it further. Like they're like they're really wanting to um just to open themselves up, to be honest, to be vulnerable, to be open. I feel like you're really making them want to be the person they used to be. But they're afraid to be that person because I feel like they just they don't I, they just really got hurt, you know what I mean? But I'm really feeling like something happened recently. I mean, that's that shift that I'm getting. Like, I feel like I just don't know if it was like a conversation or like an argument. Like you shared more, like you shared something about yourself. It's like, it seems like there's something that they're thinking about right now regarding your interactions. Or maybe you're not giving them as much energy as you were before. Um, maybe it's just something that they're coming to. Maybe they're kind of in hermit mode, like being introspective and there's, they're starting to come to these conclusions on their own, but it doesn't really feel like it. It feels more like there's some, some kind of emotional reaction to something that happened with you. It's possible you call them out on, for some of you, it's possible you call them out on something and they're kind of realizing that you are right and they're wanting to do, to be more open with you. Like I just, it just feels like a, a, like a desperate desire on their end to be vulnerable and open with you. Um, whatever it was, it feels like, it just feels like something, like some pattern is ending here. Like it's just like something. And it, like I said, it could have been an argument that really made them think things through, um, like a positive argument. It wouldn't have been like name calling and toxicity. No, it would have been something like. Like you laid your cards on the table and you were like, you know, like you need to be real with me. And they kind of realized like, wow, this, this person's a catch. This person's honest. They're genuine. Like this is the kind of person I could see myself with. Um, or it could just be some like a gentler energy where you just, you know, you're just opening yourself up to them more. You're just, you're expressing yourself more. You're, you're being cute and flirty and, and something, something about your energy is just making them miss the way that they used to be. So it's like this person's like just very empathic. Like they're very intuitive, very gentle, very loving, very loyal. And it's like somewhere along the way they just got damaged and they just kind of stopped trusting people and they started guarding themselves. And they started being overly logical and kind of just wanting to take things slow all the time and not believing in true love the same way. Like this, the damage they went through really changed their perspective. I feel like they would still be a healthy, positive person though. Like I don't think this would be someone that would like this would be, this is someone that's empathic. So like they wouldn't want to hurt people the way that they've been hurt. It's more like they would like, they actually, I feel like they wouldn't want to hurt people because of what they've been through themselves. Like they wouldn't want to do that to someone else. Um, I feel like, like, I don't think that they're the type to take things out on people. So I almost feel like they would deal with what they're going through on their own or they would, I don't want to say like on their own, but they would just like their energy is gentle, you know, it just feels like their perspective changed. So they're just more logical, but like they wouldn't want to be toxic or negative. They wouldn't, they wouldn't want to hurt anybody. You know what I mean? They would just guard their heart more and, and be more protective of their time and energy. It feels like, but it feels like, yeah, something's happening in your connection where they're wanting to be more vulnerable. And it's almost like, like they're not like nostalgic, like they're longing for you. Like they're looking at your pictures. They're thinking about you. They're missing you. 
there's just this energy of them, this truth coming out about, you know, what they're going through too. Like maybe you shared something and now they're thinking about sharing something about their lives with you. Um, you know, like loneliness, emptiness, isolation. Like I feel like this person feels very alone because it's like deep down they're romantic and passionate and they're not being themselves. You know what I mean? Like not that they're a bad person by being overly logical and analyzing and taking things slowly, but it's like not who they really are on a deeper soul level. Like it doesn't come naturally to them to take things slow and overthink things. You know what I mean? Like going quickly and, and love at first sight and all that energy is more what comes naturally to them. So it's like they really, this perspective really changed them a lot. But you're making them want to end some patterns and you're making them want to um, connect with their dreams, their visions, their their telepathic side, you know, being the, the intuitive, empathic, loving person that they once were. Like you, you really... You're bringing out the best in them. You're really making them want to be their, them, their selves again. Um, some of them are wanting to message you and be open and honest and kind of tell you more about how they feel. I do feel like some of them are watching you on social media. Divine intervention synchronicity might be kind of sh some, your guides might be, um, could have kitty spirit guides too. Your guides might be showing this person, um, like you're like trying to get this person to see your social media posts, like just at the right time or trying to push them to to take this this re reward this risk this re you know to have that reward to have you know choosing love over fear making a bold gesture and if this is your reading and you'd like a private reading my email is below in the description box um as you paid private readings uh, any donations are appreciated too any even just a dollar it really adds up quickly And yeah, my email and my PayPal and Cash App, all of that is right below this video in the description box. Confusion. Yeah, because they've been manipulated and deceived in the past. Like someone took advantage of their, their empathic nature. And they might need to cut cords on that person. This could be a psychic vampire that's still draining your person's energy. And they might need to, you maybe need to cut the cords so this person can free themselves and be their true selves and get back in touch with their, that's that passionate romantic nature of theirs. So, but yeah, you're motivating them. I, I do see some kind of shift between you two, but where they feel more motivated to, um, they're still having a hard time expressing themselves, but there's a very strong emotional reaction towards you that they're really having that desire to more than, even more than they were before. So it's good energy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you want to email me, um, email is right below in the description box. Uh, donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.